Here on the Gateman Baseball Network postgame show, tough night at the yard. Wareham loses 14 to 4. The big story of the night is that one Katuit, the first team in the league to clinch a playoff spot this year, they will be going to the playoffs this year in two seven no hit innings. They needed one more out in the eighth inning to get it. They could not get it done, but still a marvelous pitching effort tonight and to just an all around effort from the Cavaliers. Yeah, congratulations to Katuit. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with in the playoffs, likely getting uh, the home field advantage the entire time but uh tough night though you know those those happen it's baseball you got to move on you get the whole weekend off that's the good news and then maybe the two biggest games of the season on monday with born well the gateman now go to 12 uh, 12 20 and 2 on the season after dropping this one they're still in last place they've got some ground to gain on the born braves who they're going to be facing off in the doubleheader against on monday after the all-star break but just a, a tough way to end this week as you go to the All-Star break. But the All-Star break could be a good time to reset. Yeah, again, this is the first time you have two scheduled off days in a while. Hopefully the All-Stars do very well and you'll bounce back. That's, that's the philosophy that you need to have here. You can't take any of this into next week and a half is going to decide your fate. Can't, can't take any of this into that. Well, Tommy Splane is going to end his Gateman career on a nine-game hitting streak. He had a hit tonight to break up the no-hitter, and he talked with Amanda Foster after the game. I'm here now with Tommy Splane, and Tommy, you had the first hit for the Gateman in the night to knock off that no-hitter late in the game. What were you thinking when you up, went up to the plate? Obviously, that was a goal, but just what was going through yeah. your mind? Uh, I mean, good pitcher on the mound. Uh, you know, I was just trying to, you know, swing at a good pitch and uh, wasn't too worried about the results from the process, and then... Uh, you know, we were down a lot, so, you know, just putting together a good at-bat. Unfortunately, the team not able to come back. This was also your last game as a Gateman. What are the emotions for you right now? Um, you know, it was a great summer, and I'm very thankful for Coach Smythe and everyone, and you know, it was great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just very grateful. What are the biggest things that you could take away from this experience as a person and as a player? Oh, man, I mean, I took away a lot just from learning – you know, from a bunch of different people from all over the country and uh, just from different coaches and just, you know, just kind of taking a new environment and all that. But, uh, yeah, it was great. Are there any special memories that you'll look back specifically fondly on? Uh, we had some great memories with our host family, uh, me, McLean, and Caulfield. But, uh, I mean, just being out here with the guys, you know, win or lose, we had a great time. What was that like creating a bond? Obviously, you and Garen both go to Arizona, and then Nick goes to Arizona State. Just yeah. the three of you living together. Uh, I mean, it was interesting, but, uh, no, it was it was great. I mean, he's a great kid, and, uh, yeah, we all get along great, so it was, it was cool. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Yeah, Thank, Thank you. you. That'll wrap it up from us here at Clem Spillane Field. Have a nice All-Star break, everybody. We'll be at the All-Star game tomorrow calling an inning on NPR, so that'll be a cool experience for us. Off day on Sunday, doubleheader at Doran Park on Monday at Bourne. So we're going to talk to you then. The Gateman fall tonight by a final score of 14-4. to Good night, everybody.